Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have seen introduction to chopper and we have also gone through the concept that is the volt second balance and ampere second balance and in the previous lecture I have told you that the following parameter we will derive in all the converter that is from serial number 1 to 14 we will derive this parameter in all the converter okay now in this lecture we will start back converter that is the lecture number 22 so let us move to the first slide this is the circuit diagram of buck converter that I have explained you in the previous lecture here is one inductor, one capacitor and one free wheeling diode and here switch is connected. Now we supply Vs is given to this conductor. So what will happen see here when switch when I will close this switch let us say I am closing this switch at T is equal to 0. Okay. Then what will happen this supply voltage will charge this inductor. Okay. So equivalent circuit will look like this switch will be sorted and this free wheeling diode will get open circuited. This is inductor and this is output voltage okay so whenever i will close this switch then this supply voltage vs will charge the inductor means the current inductor current will increase linearly charging means the current will increase linearly and it will continue to increase till the switch is on i am turning on the switch for this time let us say for this time that is the dt okay we know that t on is nothing but dt that we have derived in the previous lecture so i am turning on this switch from 0 to dt then what will happen in this case in this case the inductor current will increase linearly like this okay because the supply voltage is connected to the inductor and inductor will charge by the supply voltage now when you will turn off this switch means i am opening this switch then how, what will be the equivalent circuit when you will close the switch then this charge inductor will have some energy okay that energy this is let us say this is v naught and now in this inductor will behave like a current source that we have seen in network whenever the charge inductor has been removed from the supply then this inductor will behave like in current source and whatever the energy present in this inductor will free wheels through this diode and across the load v naught okay so in this case the inductor current this is the inductor current so inductor current will decay linearly like this as shown in red pen and it is the total time t is it fine so during turn on inductor will charge linearly up to dt and during turn off inductor will discharge linearly up to t from dt to t and the waveform i will get inductor current waveform i will get like this okay so this cycle will repeat now if i will talk about the steady state means this is the at a steady state what will happen this inductor will have some minimum inductor current known as il minimum okay and this inductor current will have maximum inductor current that is also known as il maximum okay can be denoted as il max so if i will have to find this average inductor current then i can easily find by this waveform and i will get the average inductor current in between il minimum to il max maximum like this let us say this is the il average okay so average inductor current i will get that is equal to constant this is il average is it fine so when i will turn on this switch then this inductor will charge linearly it the current in the inductor will increase linearly and when i will close the switch then whatever the energy present in the inductor will get free wheels through diode and from the load okay in this way we i will get the inductor current instantaneous inductor current waveform like triangular is it fine so if i will have to find the average inductor current then i can easily find that average inductor current will lie in between the il max and il minimum and this is denoted as del il means change in the inductor current this is something del il this is the change in inductor current or you can say that ripple in inductor current okay so what is this this will be del il by 2 because average inductor current will lie in between the il max to il minimum so this will be del il by 2 and this is also del il by 2 okay now derive one by one what we have to derive like here i will start from serial number one so when switch is on then find vl and ic so let us close this switch when switch is on then what will be the voltage drop across this inductor see if you will draw the equivalent circuit then this free wheeling diode will be open circuit because this 
switch is closed so this will be higher potential plus potential so free wheeling diode gets open circuited so output what is the voltage drop across inductor apply kvl in this loop if you apply kvl in this loop then you will get vl on that is equal to vs minus this is v naught okay so this is v naught means vc is also equal to v naught because both are connected in parallel so it will be vs minus v naught is it fine now what will be the ic on capacitor current during on condition ic on apply kcl here you will get ic on is equal to il minus i naught if you will apply kcl at at this point then il is equal to ic plus i naught so ic on is equal to il minus i naught this we have to find during on condition that is the first point now find the second point second point is you have to find the voltage across inductor and current capacitor current during off condition so what will happen during off is off condition i already explained you that during off condition whatever the energy present in the inductor will get free wheels through diode as well as across the load so this circuit will work during off condition okay so apply kvl in this loop you will get vl of this is plus v naught okay so vl of plus v naught is equal to zero from here i will get vl of is equal to minus of v naught similarly capacitor current ic of is equal to apply kcl here i am getting inductor current as well as load current as well as capacitor current so it will be il minus i naught same as the previous case so these two parameter i found now third point is volt second balance what does volt second balance is volt second balance is vl on into t on plus vl off into t off is equal to zero okay vl on i have already derived in the serial number first that is equal to vs minus v naught and i can say t on is equal to dt so i can write like this dt plus vl off is minus v naught and t off i can write 1 minus d into t that we have derived in the previous lecture equal to 0 solve this equation you will get v naught is equal to dvs where d is the duty cycle so this is very very important formula so you can see here that the the range of duty cycle is lie between 0 to 1 okay so output voltage will be always less than or equal to supply voltage so this type of converter is known as a step down chopper is it fine here i am getting output voltage that will be less than or equal to supply voltage means output voltage is lesser so this type of converter is known as a step down chopper now see the fourth point fourth point is ampere second balance what does ampere second balance is ampere second balance is ic on into t on plus ic off into t off is equal to zero so what is ic on that we have derived in serial number two ic off is equal to ic on is equal to il minus i naught into t on t on is dt plus ic off is again il minus i naught into t of that is 1 minus d into t that is equal to 0 so solve this equation you will get i l is equal to i naught what do you mean by this this means the average value of inductor current is equal to load current i am assuming load current is equal to constant so from here from ampere second balance i can easily say that this i l average i am getting like this that is constant is equal to load current i naught for buck converter that we have derived in serial number four so i l average is equal to i naught average also in serial number three output voltage is equal to delta times d times of supply voltage where d is the duty cycle whose value lies between zero to one so output voltage i will get always less than or equal to supply voltage that's why it is known as a step down chopper so in buck converter load current and the average value of inductor current both are equal you can see that load current as well as average value of inductor current are equal this is very very important okay now the fifth point is ripple in inductor current we have to find del il 
okay so how to find del il i am giving you the procedure so we have derived already that during on condition means when switch is on then what is the voltage drop across inductor vl on i was getting that is equal to vs minus v not is it fine and i can replace vl on is equal to l di on upon dt dt on is equal to vs minus v not okay now see here when switch is closed means during on condition what is the ch di change in current is this from zero to dt change in current as shown in like this so what is the change in current change in current is nothing but del il we can see from the waveform this is del il and during on condition change in current is nothing but equal to del il so i can write like this di on is equal to del il i can write like this the change in current is del il so di on can be replaced by del il now tell me what is dt dt is nothing but during on condition this is the dt is it fine so from 0 to dt i am getting change in current del il so it will it can be replaced by d times of t right as we know that t on can be replaced by d times of t so i can write like this that is equal to vs minus v naught v naught we have already found that is equal to d times of vs so from here what i am getting inductor current ripple in inductor current del il is equal to d into 1 minus d into vs upon f l c this is time period okay t this t will go here and 1 upon t is nothing but f so 1 upon t can be replaced by f so what is the change in inductor current that is the ripple in inductor current that i am getting that is equal to del i l is equal to d into 1 minus d v s upon l so whenever you you have been asked what what is the ripple in inductor current then go through the circuit and see during turn on condition during on condition you can take during off condition also same answer you will get but i am saying take during on condition vl on find the voltage drop across inductor during on condition and replace vl is equal to ldi by dt and di can be replaced by del il and dt can be replaced by dt this is dt from 0 to t this can be replaced dt can be replaced by this dt and in this way you can find the change in inductor current that is the ripple in inductor current this is very very important most of the question can be framed from this formula so no need to buy heart this formula only know the procedure how i am getting del il and this procedure can be applied in any kind of converter means in buck converter in boost converter as well as in buck boost converter we will see we will derive one by one don't worry till now you just understand this okay so we got ripple in inductor can del il is equal to d into 1 minus d vs upon fl now see the six point in six point what we have to find i have to find il max this is il max so how will i find il max i can write il max is equal to see here il max is nothing but this this hole from 0 to this one il max so i can write il plus del il by 2 is equal to il max il plus del il by 2 that is equal to il max and il is nothing but i naught so i can replace il plus i naught plus del il by 2 i can write like this and del il i have already derived in the previous point so no need to put here and make another formula only you have to know that il max is equal to il plus del il by 2 similarly il minimum i will get see this is il minimum right so il minimum is il this is il average minus del il by 2 this is il average and this is del il by 2 so il average minus del il by 2 will give me il minimum so this will be il average minus del il by 2 and we know that in buck converter il average is equal to i naught that is the load current so i can replace like this i naught minus del il by 2 we have already derived del il the formula of del il so no need to again put in this equation and make another formula only you have to know the il max is equal to il plus del i will do and il minimum is equal to il minus del i will do in buck converter il is equal to i naught so put il is equal to i naught that 
this much only okay now the seven point is see what is the seven point seven point is il minimum we have already found eighth point is source current this is seventh point now find the eighth point that is source current so to find the source current always put p in is equal to p out source current is where this is the source current right this is source current and in this case source current is equal to switch current because switch is connected in source only so source current to find the source current always put output power is equal to input power why because we take all the pe devices ideal so output power will be will always be equal to input power there is no any losses present in the circuit so for finding the source current always what we have to put you have to put input power is equal to output power what is input power input supply is vs and is is the source current what is output power output voltage into i naught so what the source current you will get source current you will get that is equal to v naught into i naught upon vs now you can manipulate this v naught is equal to dvs i naught is equal to il or I, you can also replace i naught is equal to v naught by r if r load is taken that is the manipulation you don't need to do that it depends upon the question so source current is this much only now the ninth point is switch current switch current isw is equal to source current only now to find the average value of source current or average value of switch current as well as rms value of source current and rms value of switch current what you have to do see during on condition here i am assuming that load current is constant means this il average is constant so if i will have to plot the graph means during turn on during turn off this is the i naught or I can say that this is equal to IL average okay now from where to where I am getting source current see here source current I will get or switch current I will get only this switch is on then only I will get switch current so let us say this is DT means T on and this is total time T so switch current I will get up to DT only and that is equal to IL or you can say that I naught after that I will not get switch current like this okay and this way cycle repeats is it fine so this is dt this is maximum value that is equal to i naught and this is the waveform of switch current or you can say that source current okay now you can easily find the average value of switch current average value of switch current i will get isw average that is equal to what is the maximum current maximum current is i naught from where to where i am getting i am getting from zero to dt so time period uh, it will be dt like this upon total time period is t so source switch current average switch current i will get that is equal to d i naught or you can say that d into i l average also why because in buck converter i l average is equal to i naught now what will be the switch rms current you can say that i s rms that is source rms current or isw switch rms current i have already explained you how to find the rms value of any kind of rectangular waveform that we have seen in all the rectifier part so it will be i naught under root of conduction angle it is conducting till dt upon total time period t so it will come out to be under root d into i naught okay so switch average current i will get d i l average or d i naught as and switch rms current that is equal to source rms current i will get under root d i naught or you can say that under root d i l average because in buck converter i l average is equal to i naught we have found now see the 10th point we have to find diode current average and rms diode current see here this is my load current i naught that is equal to i l average and it is constant okay now i have to find id the diode current waveform see here when i will get diode current i will get diode current when this switch is off we have seen earlier that when switch was on then this diode was open circuited because it is in reverse bias and when switch gets off then the, all the energy present across this inductor will get free wheels through this diode so diode current i will get that is equal to i naught when when this switch will be turn off so it is turn on up to dt and from dt to t it is turn off so diode current i will get from dt to t and that is equal to i naught only this is the diode current waveform from dt to t are you getting me now you can find id average 
ID average is equal to I naught. What is the conduction angle? Conduction angle is T minus DT that is equal to 1 minus D into T upon total time period T. TT will cancel out. It will be 1 minus D into I naught. No need to by heart this. You have to just see from which period diode is conducting. So diode is conducting from DT to T that is in off period. Okay. And draw the waveform. Take I naught is equal to constant always and draw the waveform and find ID average as well as ID RMS. In this way ID RMS I can also find that is equal to I naught under root of 1 minus D into T upon total time period that is equal to under root of 1 minus D into I naught. So this is the 10th point. Now see the 11th. 11th is ripple in capacitor voltage we have to find means we have to find del Vc. Now in order to find a del Vc that is the 11th point ripple in capacitor voltage or you can say that del V naught also because ripple in output voltage it can be it can also be said ripple in output voltage. So in order to find del Vc first I have to know the current capacitor current waveform. So I have already derived that IC is equal to what is IL minus I naught. Here I naught is this much. This is constant. Okay. And IL is varying with time like this. It is a triangular pulse. So if this I I naught, this is I naught, right? So if this I naught is subtracted from this triangular pulse, then I will get IC something like this. This is my IC waveform. Just subtract I naught from this instantaneous value of inductor current. You will get IC like this. Okay. And this will be del IL by 2. And this will be minus del I L by 2. Okay. Now in order to find the del V C what I will do I will I will see we know that Q is equal to C V. So del Q is equal to del V C. Is it fine? So del V C is equal to del Q by C. Now we know that capacitor will store charge when current will be greater than 0 when capacitor current will be greater than 0 means it is storing the charge when IC will be greater than 0 means the direction of IC will be like this means this capacitor is storing the charge and when IC will be less than 0 means for particular value IC is I am getting IC less than 0 also in that case this capacitor will discharge so if I will have to find how much this capacitor charges then what I will do I will find the area of this current when IC is greater than 0. So I can easily get del Q. Del Q is equal to find the area of this triangle that is equal to 1 by 2 into height. Height is del IL by 2 into T by 2. Okay. That is equal to del IL by 8F. T can be replaced by 1 upon F. So I can write like this del IL by 8F. Just understand this much only del vc del vc is equal to del il by 8f now you can easily put del il is equal to that we have found del il is equal to d into 1 minus d vs upon fl okay now put the value of del il here you will get del vc that is equal to this much del vc is equal to d into 1 minus d vs upon 8f square lc this is the ripple in capacitor voltage 12 point is at what duty cycle ripple is maximum see here at what duty cycle ripple is maximum means we have to derivate this del vc with respect to duty cycle then i can easily get at what duty cycle this ripple is maximum so differentiate this d del vc with respect to dd and equate it to zero you will get for what duty cycle this ripple in capacitor voltage will be maximum. So differentiate this. So after differentiating V, this is V8F square LC into derivative of U that is 1 minus 2D into Vs minus D into 1 minus D Vs into a differentiation of 8F square LC that you will get 0 upon V square that is this much and equate it to 0. You will get 1 minus 2D is equal to 0. So D will come out to be 1 by 2 that is equal to 0 0.5. What do you mean by this means? At this duty cycle, the ripple in capacitor voltage or you can say that the ripple in inductor current will be maximum. Okay. Then what will be the del V max and del IL max? I want to find. See here. Del V max, del VC max, I will get at 
d is equal to 0 0.5 so put d is equal to 0 0.5 here i will get del vc max is equal to vs upon 32 f square lc similarly i can find del il max put d is equal to 0 0.5 in del il you will get vs upon 4 fl okay so remember this the duty cycle at which ripple in capacitor voltage and ripple in inductor current will be maximum that is equal to 0 0.5 now see the 13 point and 14 point see this is very important that is critical value of inductance what is critical value of inductance that is a 13 point understand this concept current this is the inductor current that is shown like this and it is changing with respect to time okay so inductor current is continuous why because of this inductor if i have already told you in the previous lecture that to make the current ripple free or to make the current continuous we have to insert an inductor in series with the load then only the current the load current will be continuous see here from inductor this is the inductor current like this it is increasing up to dt and again it is de decreasing from dt to t so critical value of inductance means suppose I, this wave this waveform i am getting for 2 henry of inductor if i will place 2 henry of inductor then waveform will be somehow like this now i am decreasing this inductor to 1 henry so if i will decrease this inductor to 1 henry then the waveform will look like this this il minimum will decrease il minimum will decrease and again it will be like this okay now again i am decreasing this inductor to 0.5 henry so if i will decrease this inductor to 0.5 henry then il minimum again il minimum will decrease like this it will be somehow like this okay so for particular value of inductor let us say 0.25 henry at inductor value is equal to 0.25 henry this il minimum will become zero and it will be somehow like this right so that particular value of inductor is known as critical inductance so in order to define the critical inductance i can say that that value of inductor at which the inductor current is just continuous see if this il minimum will shift to zero after that again if i will make let us say if, again if, if i will make uh, inductor is equal to 120.125 henry then how the waveform will look like the inductor current waveform will look like somehow it will increases up to dt and it will decrease up to some time t1 and this is the time period so in this case you can see that inductor current goes into the discontinuous conduction mode so we have to put the minimum value of inductor for which this inductor current is just continuous means the graph of inductor current is somehow like this it will start from zero and again it will end to total time period then only this is just continuous case so if i'll have to define the critical inductance so i can define right like this the minimum value of inductor for which the inductor current is just continuous is it fine or i can say that il minimum when il minimum approaches to zero so when il minimum is equal to zero this is the condition for just continuous we have seen when il minimum is equal to zero then this is the continuous uh, condition for just continuous so to find the critical inductance what i will do i will put il minimum is equal to zero so just put il minimum is equal to zero you will get il minimum is equal to what il minus del il by 2 is equal to 0 il can be replaced by i0 because in but converter il average is nothing but i0 and del il i can write d into 1 minus d vs upon 2 fl this is i0 can be also be replaced by v0 upon r if r load is taken and this v0 can be replaced by d vs upon r v0 can be replaced by d vs so finally this d vs d vs will cancel out and this is critical value of inductance critical value of inductance i will get that is equal to r into 1 minus d upon 2f don't by heart this critical value of inductance you just need to know il minimum you have to put il minimum is equal to zero and derive according to that you will get inductor uh, critical value of inductance like this understood now the last point that is the critical value of capacitance same procedure can be applied for critical value of capacitance also 
first define the critical value of capacitor the minimum value of capacitor for which the output voltage is just continuous see if i will have to draw this output voltage waveform then output voltage in order to make output voltage continuous or you can say that constant i am inserting this capacitor parallel to load that we have discussed in the previous lecture so for particular value of capacitor the output voltage the waveform of output voltage is just continuous that value of capacitor is known as critical capacitance so i can say that the minimum value of capacitor for which the output voltage is just continuous or you can say that del vc minimum is equal to zero same like inductor current we have found okay del vc minimum is equal to zero del vc minimum i can easily find vc minus del vc by 2 is equal to zero vc can be replaced by v naught minus del vc by 2 is equal to zero now substitute the value of del vc and v naught here i can replace this v naught v naught is equal to dvs and that is equal to 1 by 2 dvc del vc we have already found that is equal to d into 1 minus d into vs upon 8 f square lc we have found the del vc like this so cancel out this dvs dvs and this is nothing but critical value of capacitance so critical value of capacitance i will get that is equal to 1 minus d upon 16 f square l okay so this is the critical value of capacitance is it fine so now you can put lc the value of critical value of inductance here in order to find the critical value of capacitance like this we know that lc is equal to r into 1 minus d upon 2f that we have derived earlier so put here lc is equal to r into 1 minus d by 2f you will get critical value of capacitance that is equal to 1 by 8 fr if critical value of inductance is given then find critical value of capacitance by using this formula if critical value of inductance is not given only our load resistance is given this is the load resistance okay so if load resistance is given then critical value of capacitance is equal to 1 upon 8 fr you can find like this okay so in this way we have derived all the parameters from 1 to 14 and in gate exam you will have to find this much parameter only in buck converter so no need to worry about that in the next lecture we will solve some problem based on buck converter that has been asked in previous year gate exam let us take the summary okay this is the summary what we have to find v naught we have found v naught is equal to dvs then il is equal to i naught il average is equal to load current that is equal to v naught upon r we have found del il is equal to d into vs minus v naught upon fl or that can also be written as d into 1 minus d into vs upon fl you can play like this il max we have found that is equal to il plus del il by 2 put del put the value of del il here and il is equal to i naught you will get il max similarly il minimum can be found for finding the source current this is the source current is always put p in is equal to p out you will get something like this now find v naught i naught and vs and find source current no need to um, make another formula similarly switch current is equal to source current in this case okay in this case switch current is equal to source current so no need to make another formula it is id average is equal to 1 minus d into il we have already found and id rms is equal to under root 1 minus d into il del vc we have found like this critical value of inductance this much and critical value of capacitance this much now i would like to say you one important point point number four five six and eight these four points are common in all the converter okay it will be same in all the converter i will explain you how when i will teach you all the converter then you will understand how these are same in all the converter so that's all about this lecture in the next lecture we will solve the previous year gate problem that has been asked from buck converter from 1991 to 2017 so if you guys understood the concept then please like this video and subscribe to this channel for doubt solving to join our facebook group thanks for watching this video